Hi there. Welcome to Gourmet Cooking for People That Can Burn Water. I'm Kyle. I am not a chef. I've never actually held a job as a cook either, but I love to cook. Do you pause? I'm sorry. Okay. Over the next several weeks, I'll be sharing some of my favorite really easy recipes for people that don't think they can cook. But surprise, you can, because it's really simple. For instance, today we're going to be making the world's simplest version of salmon larage. Okay. Here we have three beautiful salmon fillets that I have de-skinned, I, I cut off the skin on, and two cups of orange juice and a frying pan. Simple as that. Okay. Okay. On medium to low heat, I have put three beautiful salmon fillets here into my pan. And I'm going to pour the orange juice on top. We're going to let them cook for about three to four minutes on each side once it starts to bubble. All right, it's been boiling for a little about three minutes. You can see a nice little, getting a nice color around the sides, and we're going to flip them over once. Oh, it smells so good. And that'll go for a few more minutes. Right, these are done. We're going to remove them and put them on a side plate so that we can reduce the remaining orange juice, which will take a couple minutes, upon which you should keep stirring it so that it will not burn. You don't want burnt orange juice. So you are constantly stirring it. It'll take a couple minutes until it reduces down to not quite a syrup, but a, a lot thicker of an orange juice. All right, the, uh, the orange juice has reduced. You notice the much darker color that it's gotten, and it's thickened up quite a bit. So we are ready to serve. And we have our, don't forget to turn off the heat on the oven. Mm -hmm. Don't spoon this delicious sauce over the top of the salmon. Today we have uh, okay. tonight we are serving this with wild rice mixture that comes from a box. There's nothing wrong with doing a box of Zetterin mix, which is very delicious, but it's simple. All you need to do is put empty the box into a pot of water and boil it. Hopefully you, hopefully you won't burn the water doing it, but that's how you make the wild rice, and it's delicious. So until next time, this is Kyle signing off. Hope to see you next time. Thanks.